everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's review will be Maybelline New York's Fit Me Concealer. So I've been hearing a lot of people raving about this product. They're saying that it's a great dupe for Norris's Creamy Concealer and that's why I was so excited to get this product. I got this from Watson's for 299 pesos which weirds me out because most of the online stores are selling this for 580-600 pesos. Isn't that too much? I found this product by accident. I was just browsing through the stalls of Watson's like I always do. And I just saw the usual products of Maybelline. And then I came across this tray of new looking concealers. And I should know because I always check it. Even though I know there's nothing new. You know how it is when you check the fridge and you don't see anything that you like. But you come back every now and then to check the refrigerator. You know, nothing has changed, but you still check. That's exactly what happened with this concealer. So I was going through the Maybelline products, and lo and behold, a tray of Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I didn't know that they were already carrying the Fit Me line, and I'm so happy. I can't wait for the Fit Me foundation. <laughs> for today, let's focus on the concealer. As you can see, I already have makeup on. I put foundation and eye makeup, lipstick, blush, and a little bit of contour. But you know, and I know it, that I have raccoon eyes right now. I mean, look at that. So I purposely did not put foundation on this area because that's a job of the concealer. When I checked Maybelline, they only had two shades left, so I didn't have any choice but to go with this. So this is in 35 Deep Ponds. Or Ponce. I have a friend whose last name is Ponce. <laughs> this is its packaging. It looks like any concealer tube I've seen in the market. There is a cute applicator. It's an angled applicator and you can reach the inner corners of your eyes or the sides of your nose with it. There is no scent. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see it properly. like applying it. It is very easy to blend. It is not so sticky, but it definitely is creamy. It's good. This could be my most favorite concealer now. Wow, that blended really easily and it seeped in my skin right away. See the difference there? With the concealer, without the concealer. This just reminds me that I have to take care of my skin more. I mean, look at that. I should get some sleep. Look at how it fixed my eyeshadow right away. Amazing. I'm going to set this eye first. I'm going to use this brush and a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder. Is that even banana powder? Yeah, it's, it's just banana. So I'll mix those two. take some of that powder on my nose because it's starting to get oily. Man, this is good coverage for 299 pesos. Okay, so I'm going to cover the other eye. Whenever I work on my concealer, I don't like swiping. I make sure I just tap because when I swipe it feels like I'm just moving the product away from the area where I want it to be on. Does that make sense? So this is your final look. I really love this concealer. I recommend that you get one for yourself. I mean if it's a great dupe for Narcissus Creamy Concealer then you're saving yourself a thousand pesos and something. And now it's raining. I'm so sorry for the noise. I live right next to the expressway and I think I've told you that in another video. I'm using the natural light next to my window. My final thoughts on this concealer, it is very easy to blend. It doesn't just settle on your skin but it seeps in. It's very affordable. It's just 299 pesos. And that's it for today's review. Thank you so much for watching and you stay weird.